President Biden unveiled a new plan today for student debt forgiveness at Madison Technical College. Our chief political reporter Charles Benson was there. He explains what this means to borrowers and how it could be a key issue in Biden's campaign. Hello, Wisconsin. President Biden is in a forgiving mood when it comes to student debt. And starting this fall, we plan to deliver up to $20,000 in interest relief to over 20 million borrowers and full forgiveness for millions more. Key details include forgiving debt for borrowers who've paid for 20 years but still owe money, relief from years of accrued or runaway interest, and borrowers facing financial hardship for things like medical bills or child care. By freeing millions of Americans from this crushing debt of student debt, it means they can finally get on with their lives instead of being put their lives being put on hold. To give you some context on why President Biden is in Madison to make this big announcement on student debt, I went back and looked at voter turnout at UW-Madison in 2020. More than 24,000 students voted that year, not all of them for Biden. But to put that number in perspective, Biden won Wisconsin by less than 21,000 votes. This is an all-encompassing, multi-generational issue. Scott Ross is a longtime Democratic advocate from Madison. He has pushed for student debt reform for more than a decade after racking up $64,000 in student loan debt that he paid off in 26 years. Ross sees it as an economic issue. They want to fully participate in the American economy. They want to buy cars. They want to buy homes. All those pieces that build the American economy. Republican-led states successfully sued the Biden administration the last time it tried to forgive student debt, with the U.S. Supreme Court saying congressional approval was needed. This time around, some of the new rules will need to be finalized by the Department of Education. In Madison, Charles Benson, TMJ4 News.